I don't know if you've been following the, the Libra coin uh, news. Uh, in short, for people who don't know what it is, Libra coin is uh, the new future cryptocurrency from, from Facebook. Now, just saying cryptocurrency and Facebook in the same sentence should give you the scale of the news here. Um, until a year ago, it would have been unthinkable for any established company to play with cryptos. Cryptos were toxic and a stupid thing from libertarians and it would never work and it's all a scam, etc, etc. And, and Facebook, not, not a small company, but Facebook. Uh, what Facebook did was uh, uh, basically only announcing that they are preparing a cryptocurrency, which is, by the way, not really a cryptocurrency, but let's not get into that. And uh, it's more a payment system. So a payment system, a coin, which will be used all over the world without borders and directly into your apps, etc. So much, much easier than credit cards. Think about it. Still today, uh, we are using a technology from the 50s, which is credit cards. You have to put a number, a date, a name, sometimes an address, and then put it out in the open. And this is all your sensitive information. It travels around the internet. And of course, there's so many ways to, to steal these numbers. So uh, credit cards are old. They've been adapted. They adapted on top of the internet, but they are not native with the internet. Um, cryptocurrencies are internet native. And Facebook wants to build something like that. Maybe they want to follow the what WeChat is doing in China, etc. But um, the very important thing is that uh, Facebook is... a uh, and didn't launch a cryptocurrency by itself because a cryptocurrency or a, 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 um, a currency in general cannot belong to one company. Uh, we used to think that, I mean, they used to, they, they belong to, to countries at the moment. That, um, that makes sense, maybe. Some people don't really agree. Uh, it's like airlines, they, you know, our country airlines, flag airlines uh, made sense 20 years ago and then we really realized sorry we realized that they work better when they're not connected to, to a country so some people say currencies should be not connected to country but that's another thing and we want you don't want to get into that right now uh, so Facebook wants to launch this uh, currency whatever the reason let's again not not try to understand why that will be a very long discussion and they decide to build what they call Libra Association. Again, Libra is the cryptocurrency and the association is a group of people, I'm sorry, of companies who build it together where everybody has a vote. So Facebook will not own it. Facebook will have one vote. And so it's a decentralized, distributed, more, I would say, federated project. Why? Because you cannot create a, a currency and expect the whole world to adopt it if there's one company behind. People wouldn't trust it, right? Especially people who wouldn't trust uh, Facebook in that case. So what they did was like they talked to a few companies, corporations, and they said, you put $10 million down and you can be part of the uh, association. Keeps coming alliance to me instead of association because Ethereum, for instance, is based on alliance. But again, so you, you want to be part of this. You want a vote, you want to be a node on the blockchain. So one of the companies taking decisions, $10 million, and you're part of it. And they, they launched this white paper. Interesting enough, uh, the white paper is the same way Bitcoin was launched. And uh, there's interesting companies in there. And there's Visa, there's MasterCard, PayPal, Stripe, so all these payments, payment companies. And there's others, okay, there are no banks, but there's one which is really interesting. There is Booking Holdings. So Booking.com, Booking.com, Priceline, Agoda. They are playing with cryptocurrencies now. This is huge. And it's incredible that were, uh, nobody in, in the space said anything about that. Nobody realized it, I guess. This is huge, huge news. Imagine if out of the blue Booking.com booking .com comes and says, okay, we're going to have a cryptocurrency, okay? That would be big news, but because the news was Facebook is launching Libra, it got kind of hidden. And it has to be said, in the days after the announcement, which was maybe a week ago or something, uh, digging deeper, so some journalists, you know, when asking all these companies, uh, how deep are you into the Libra project? Well, you know, they, you know, they, 
they didn't really confirm they want to do it. They said, okay, we are in it, but we didn't even put the money yet. Um, the feeling I have is like, they say, okay, I'm gonna put my, you know, you can put my logo there. You can say I'm part of the project. I don't wanna commit myself too much in case governments want to kill it and governments want to kill it, that's for sure. So, but the interesting thing is how they did it. They did it in the exact same way as we are planning to do it with TRIPS community uh, for companies. What we are going to do with, with companies is to tell them, okay, look, we are trying to build something which is not in the hands of TRIPS itself. We want something which is distributed, neutral, open, so you can build your own business on top of it, knowing that no one can take it away from you because you are part of it, right? So we are we have prepared this business plan where we explain everything, all our plans, and we are going to propose to companies to be part of it by investing not $10 million, a bit less in our case, and buying shares of the TRIPS community company we, we opened in Estonia, a blockchain-friendly country. And the idea is that the industry owns TRIP in the same way as, let's say, before the internet time, somebody could have come and say, okay, let's build a thing called internet and let's build our businesses on the internet and let's make it open. Let's make it, let's, let's avoid that one company owns the internet. That's, that's the real strength on the internet. That it's open and nobody can stop you from building a company on top of it, right? So we want to do the same thing. We want to make OTAs protocols, which means free, open, where anybody can do whatever they want and we share the idea the basic you know dynamics and we know that that's how it works and if anybody wants to change it it needs consensus from from the broad industry so in the next month we're going to come out with this uh, proposal to companies to to be part of trips and it's really important to see trips not just as a startup which wants to build something on top of this ex existing ecosystem like, I don't know, I want to build a, a new portal, a new booking platform like, like the OTAs. And I simply do something like them, but it's shared, you know, it, it's an open, uh, there's a company which belongs to other companies. That, that's, not what, that's not what Trips is doing. Uh, I would not even try that, you know, uh, a platform owned by this, the very people who try to um, attract customers. No, the platform has to be open. And so even guests feel they are on a neutral place. They're not being uh, sucked in a system which tries to make the interest of you know the, the property manager, for instance, right? It has to belong to um, no one and everyone at the same time. It has to be uh, immutable in the sense that, uh, let's say, to give an example, um, we are charging a 5%. And this 5% commission on the bookings, this 5% is uh, it's there to, to have operations run. And we always say, okay, if we manage to do this with 2%, we're going to go down to 2%. It's, the, the point is not to make money for the startup. The startup needs to stay small, right? The point is to provide a platform. So we're not a startup which tries to build something on top of the internet or even worse, on top of the OTAs. We are going deeper. We are going between the internet and the industry. The whole industry is running on the internet, right? So we, we're gonna build this layer on top of the internet and below the industry. So the industry can build on top of trips, okay? I explained in other videos how this works and why this is possible today, blockchain, uh, whatever that means. Uh, you are going to learn if you don't know yet what that means. It takes time to simulate. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So we cannot do this as a company who's trying to go in. You cannot be in that place and be a company which tries to extract money out of the market because, uh, well, people wouldn't trust it. Just not the OTA, okay? We got enough of them. And it needs to be something which is as protocol as possible. And the only way to do this is to give decision power to every player in the industry. So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna build um, an association or alliance. You can call it as you want. It, it, it simply means you're gonna invest into this uh, existing company and buy some shares. And the idea is that the shares are going to be uh, distributed enough without falling into anarchy. 
that opens a completely new uh, chapter on uh, uh, decentralized uh, autonomous organizations, but we start centralized. We start in a way that we can guarantee you that this is run properly as a company. There are, you know, there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of decision, decisions to be discussed, but there's, there's always a final um, decision taken in, in a classic way. That's for the beginning. Then, uh, as the ecosystem grows and as the, the tools to run the centralized autonomous organizations grow, and it's incredibly interesting what's happening in this space, I will dedicate a video to that later, um, and that's how it works. So expect us to come to knock at your door and, uh, and ask to be part of this and, uh, and consider it because this is, uh, this is going to be uh, very big and very important for the for the oil industry so stay tuned